Hey, what's going on guys? So a little bit ago, I hit 400 subscribers and I thought what would be a better idea for a 400 subscriber special than to see how many versions of Windows can run on this 2010 MacBook Pro. I have a pretty decent selection of discs we can choose from for this video. Without further ado, we're gonna start off with Windows XP Home Edition. All right, now we open the Boot Camp Assistant, continue, and we'll divide equally. Why not? Because we need a lot of space. Alright guys, I have found the flash drive we need for this video. Alright, start your Windows installation. Insert your Windows installation disk and click start installation. 32-bit Windows XP Home Edition. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what this is. Pop this in. Wait for it to spin up. Alright, it's in the corner and now we can click start installation. Yes, yeah, set up Windows XP now. Uh, F8, I agree. This one. We do this. And yes. Yes, there it is, the beautiful Windows XP boot screen. Oh please, is it gonna have the lovely music? I would love that. <laughs> No? It's not? Oh my gosh. I mean, maybe that comes later. That probably comes later. Uh, yeah, this is fine. This is great. My name? <coughs> yeah, that works. Uh, don't eat it. It's fine. No, I don't, I don't want to enter it. That's a catchy name, look at that. KJLKJGA58BEBE8. Oh, that's catchy. Oh, here we go. Wait, so we didn't get the music. We didn't get the cool little setup music. Oh, that's disappointing. That sucks. <laughs> Come on, man. Load that desktop. Load that desktop. Yeah. Oh, no. Click it. Yes. Correct it. What happened to the Luna theme? Where? Where's the Luna theme? Take a tour. Not yet. I need to figure out what's going on with the theme. Modif no, not modified theme. What? The Windows XP we know and love with the nice Luna theme with the blue and green. Okay, so it has the wallpaper, but it doesn't have anything else. It doesn't have the nice Luna theme. Did we have internet? Google. Google. Oh no. It's a bad sign, guys. Okay, well. Oh, I see, guys. We have to insert the install disk for the bootcamp drivers, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure this. Oh. Oh. Responsive. Okay, that's good. Yes. Double click that. Yep. Preparing to install. Great. Install the drivers that you need. <laughs> oh no. This can occur if you're running Windows in safe mode or if the Windows installer is not correctly installed. Alright, well, I guess it's time for Vista. Now let's try Windows Vista. I know my handwriting is terrible. In you go. Windows Vista. <laughs> oh, I think it's already doing the thing. Yep, it's already doing it. <laughs> this is gonna be a really long video to edit. Oh, yeah. Of course I accept the license terms. Next. Uh huh. Yep, this one. Uh huh. <laughs> Cannot copy files required for installation. Files may be corrupt or missing. Why is nothing in this video going right? All right, well, if we can't do Windows Vista, we're gonna have to do Windows 7 at least. Yes, good. That is a good sign, yes. Install now. At least give me something to work with here. Uh, 
Nah, let's not get updates. Yeah, I accept the license terms. Custom. This one. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Just, just do it. Finally, we're here. English United States, yeah, that looks good. Uh, yeah, that looks good as well. I don't need a password. Uh, no updates. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's correct. Welcome. Yeah, preparing your desktop. Oh yeah, look at that. First we're gonna do is go to computer, do this, and eject. And now what we're gonna do is fix the resolution. There we go, and apply. Yes, keep changes. Let's do a system rating. Let's go, rate this computer. Nice, a whopping 1.0. <laughs> well, now that we have that sorted out, and we have the Windows 7 disk put away, now we can move on to Windows 8.1. I just can't get a break. I can't get a break with this video. I, I, I'm recording on an iPhone right now, and it's been going for 1 hour and 46 minutes. I, just, I can't get a break. I, I can't. I, I literally cannot. Yep, there it is. Uh, yep. Yes, do it. <laughs> Ruin this entire computer. Oh gosh, that was a terrible noise. Just, just eject it, please. Uh, oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh no. Okay. Oh, that. Ooh, bad image? Bad image. Oh. Oh no. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. Second time should work. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah. Run setup.exe. Yes. Go ahead. Whoa! Wow! Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. You don't. You don't want to work. I can't get the disc out. It. Um. Well, we found our answer. The answer is to Windows Seven. That is how far we can get with this machine. Oh, oh, it's, I, f I, oh, okay, thank you, thank you, Windows. Two hours wasted, only to find out that Windows 7 is the highest operating system that we can go to, unless we're gonna make progress. I'm pretty sure we can make progress still. We might not be able to run Windows 8 from the CD, but we can try to download a copy of Windows 8 from Microsoft, so YouTube don't take this stupid video down. Yeah, there we go, this, this is what I've been wanting. Wow, look at that, they have Windows 7. Well, screw it, let's, let's just do Windows 10, because we spent so much time trying to get Windows 8.1, let's just do 10. Yes, create Windows 10 installation media, let's do that. Alright, open file. Yes, Windows. Seems our media creation tool does not seem to be working right now. Yeah, you want to work? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Okay, it's official. Windows Seven is the latest one that can run on this machine. So much for a 400 subscriber special wanted me to do something so special, but then it just doesn't work out.